Good afternoon, guys. I hope you're all well today. I'm gonna make a fantastic New York style delicatessen coleslaw. Okay, you know, some of my subscribers, as you know, I've been really fortunate enough to travel all around the world. I was in New York and I went into this fantastic delicatessen and the guy behind the kiosk, he gave me this really good recipe. Um, and he said to me, would you like some coffee? And I said, no, nah, bruv, I'm not really into that. And he says to me, bada boom, bada bing. Anyway, we digress. Okay, so the coleslaw that I'm gonna be making is a really vibrant coleslaw. It's got fantastic colors. The taste is amazing. So I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy it and I'll show you how we cook it and make it. Thank you. So guys, here we are. Um, these are the, some of the ingredients we're gonna need. This really accompanies well with meat dishes and fish dishes, prawns as well, which I'm gonna show you in another video. So what we need basically is black pepper, Himalayan pink salt, my favorite, you know, you guys know that. Uh, white malt vinegar. Um, I've shredded all the vegetables up. So basically what you're gonna need is white cabbage, red cabbage, half of each, um, about three carrots and some onions. So half an onion there. And also light mayonnaise. I'm gonna keep this healthy guys, or try my best to. Uh, a little bit of Coleman's mustard, blow your head off Coleman's mustard, um, yogurt and some sugar. Okay, so these are some of the ingredients we're gonna be using today for this New York delicatessen uh, coleslaw. Right guys, so what we're gonna need for this, first of all, is I like the mixture of colors, okay? So we've got some white cabbage there. I'm gonna put some uh, red cabbage in as well. Look at those vibrant colors, I just love those colors. Some carrots, some more white cabbage, and red cabbage there. A um, little bit more carrots and all the onions, okay? Because I like it a little bit onions with onions in it because it gives it a little bit more of a chunky texture. So to this, guys, we're going to add loads of salt, okay? So it's roughly about, I would say, my Himalayan pink salt. You know I love that one. Um, I would say roughly about two teaspoons of salt, or one and a half, okay? So I'm going to put that in. With that, I'm gonna put some black pepper. So again, I like a little bit, I like quite a lot of black pepper in there, okay? So I would say probably about one teaspoon of black pepper. It just adds a little bit more depth and earthiness to the, to the flavors that we're gonna get there. So we're just gonna mix this up, guys, just to mix all the ingredients up. Look at those lovely, vibrant colors we've got there. I can smell the onions, I can smell some of the carrots as well coming through there. It looks really stunning in terms of color. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix up the creams first of all, guys, if you like. So, so I'm gonna put them, the um, mayonnaise light in. As you can see, we're gonna need probably about a cup full of mayonnaise light. I'm also gonna put the lovely yogurt in. So this is a full fat yogurt. I would have preferred half fat, but it's not too bad, it will, it will just enhance the flavor. It'll make it more creamy. So probably double that amount in there. And I'm also gonna put the sugar in. So we, we need roughly about one and a half teaspoons of sugar. And the lovely hot mustard has to go in there as well, guys. So Coleman's mustard is the best. It just gives it a lot more earthiness and a lot more heat to the to the mixture um, when I'm gonna mix it through. So just mix that through. See the lovely yellow colors coming through there. And I'm gonna add this and mix this into the cold saw, okay? So also what we need to add to this is a little bit of vinegar, guys. So I would see probably about a quarter of a cup of vinegar in there as well. It just adds a bit of tartness to the flavor. And I'm just gonna mix that in as well. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna add this now to the to those chopped up vegetables. So what I'm gonna do is just mix all this lovely creaminess into the um, into the salad there. If you like, you wanna call it a salad? I call it a coleslaw salad, but there you go. Um, and we're gonna mix that all through and you're gonna see the whole texture change there. So I can smell the acidity of that vinegar as well and it's just gonna mix through into the coleslaw. Look guys, this is the best coleslaw you can do because you know what, it's fresh. It's none of that canned stuff or the tin stuff or the stuff you get from your local supermarket. This is fresh, this is New York style, okay? 
and it's gonna taste good in your homes wherever you are around the world. Okay, like I said, it's a really good accompaniment for um, your meat dishes, your fish dishes, prawns. I'm gonna be making prawns next and I'm gonna be using this to actually eat with the prawns. You know what? You guys will be surprised, but it tastes fantastic with, with hot cooked curry prawns. So guys, I'm gonna try this now. It looks really yummy. I'm gonna see how it tastes. Um, smells gorgeous. So let me just try it now. Oops, dropped a little bit, but it's no problem. Mmm. Wow, that's so scrummy. It tastes so good. The crunchiness of the vegetables are coming through. The acidity also is coming through. It tastes fantastic. You can taste the saltiness and the heat is coming through from the mustard. It's fantastic. But you know what, guys? You're going to have to try to make it and let me know how it is. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed my New York style delicatessen coleslaw. I'm sure you'll agree. It had really a lot of colors. It was very vibrant in terms of colors and the, the taste was really creamy and very, very natural. And it was really healthy. You know, I didn't add too much mayonnaise in this. So I hope you appreciate that. And I hope you guys are gonna make it. So if you like my video, give me a thumbs up and also do subscribe and make some comments in my comment section. I really appreciate that. Take care, thank you.